What's up, people? What's up? What's up? This is your girl, Virgo, Witch Goddess, and today's date is September 28th, Monday morning time. Now it's about 6, 10 a.m., so this is going to be a basic general reading for my ear signs, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and so um, this is going to be from October 1st to October 15th, 2020, so this is going to be like a mid-month reading for ear sign, and so um, what I can tell you are uh, Libra Gemini Aquarius at this time right now is that you do have a cancer who um desires to be with you okay where this cancer does want to rush in with this knight of cups and take some sort of swift action toward you but they could be moving kind of slow where this cancer is wanting to come in with this page of cup and make you an offer with this five of cups this um cancer is feeling a bit depressed without you and hopeless without you where um this cancer could be um very intuitive have a little bit of psychic ability uh this cancer may be having dreams about you um this cancer may feel as though they got themselves well established enough to come in and you know make their move when it comes to like rushing in with this chariot card um others of you you may have ended a situation with a scorpio okay so libra gemini aquarius you could have ended things with a scorpio okay and the reason why i say that is because um with this five of our uh, swords okay swords represent ear ear represents libra gemini aquarius take it how it resonates flip it how you need to flip it just don't force it five of swords dealing with somebody deceitful who's a cheater um, eight of swords feeling trapped and isolated okay um, nine of swords feeling um, stress anxiety variation losing sleep over the situation uh, ten of swords somebody being stabbed in the back uh, Knight of swords dealing with somebody who could be a bit selfish and cruel you know what I'm saying saying a whole lot of hard shit um, Queen of swords not really um, allowing you to be objective or giving you uh, you know no type of say so where you're trying to use a logic in a situation but it can be hard for you to do that because you're dealing with somebody who could be a bit um unsympathetic somebody who's a bit unapologetic somebody who could be a bit cruel like i said and harsh with their words and so when it comes to uh gemini which is a lover's card you can find yourself disconnecting uh from somebody from the waist down and so it's causing some type of tower uh abrupt change to come into play when it comes to your household uh between you and this um what could be like a scorpio like i said um it don't have to be but when it comes to your pentacles what i can tell you uh libra gemini aquarius is that if you're dealing with an earth sign right now this earth sign is trying to focus on the things that they need right now because with this three of pentacles this earth sign is trying to multitask and work on some type of short-term goal when it comes to career and finances where um you could be dealing with a younger uh, earth sign with this page of pentacles where right now this queen of pentacles could be disconnecting themselves you know from you right now while they work on themselves and so it could be possible that um with this king of pentacles you know they don't want anything to hinder their progress right now when it comes to moving forward because they are trying to focus on their coins and so you could be dealing with a taurus or you could be dealing with a virgo taurus hyphen card which means that a taurus is basically um seeking answers from a higher source where this taurus may be going around asking questions about you concerning the situation between you and them and so when it comes to this virgo this virgo could be very introverted wanting to be left alone wanting to have some privacy time for themselves okay and so right now now both this Virgo and this Taurus is focused on their coins, okay? Um, when it comes to a fire sign, what I can tell you is that you do have a, um, with this two of wands, you do have a fire sign who's wanting to put forth some, uh, some type of, um, effort moving forward when it comes to making plans for the future, where, um, and this four of wands is like this person is ready to step things up to the next level, um, you know, with this six of wands, this person's wanting to have some sort of uh, victory with you where there's going to be some sort of uh, celebration, some sort of um, 
achievement, uh, recognition, you know what I'm saying, where you could be getting ready to go to some type of recognition dinner, uh, you know, be recognized for your hard work and your achievement. Um, also, there may be, uh, with this Seven of Wands, somebody could be feeling as though they have to, um, you know, protect their uh, their character and, you know, their dignity, where somebody could be feeling a bit defensive, where they may have to uh, protect themselves when it comes to uh, their personality and their character, um, when it comes to people that may be, you know, spreading rumors or that sort of, that sort of thing. Um, you could be dealing with a knight of wands, somebody who's wanting to, um, you know, um, take control and like really um, come rushing in and somebody who's determined to come in and do what they say they're going to do. And so you can have this, um, this Sagittarius who is, um, you know, where things could have been blown out of proportion and fell apart between you and this Sagittarius, where this Sagittarius is... Um, wanting to work on some things for themselves as well or they may be wanting to work on something between you and them and you may be dealing with an Aries um the emperor somebody who's uh, wanting to control the situation and um you know somebody who could be an authority figure or something like that um the sun card or Leo being successful so you could be you know you can have um either Leo in your chart or you could be dealing with someone who's a Leo maybe as a business partner somebody who's wanting to team up with you and uh work with you in order to be successful and so right now it's like you are um, rebuilding your confidence back when it comes to getting your you know your strength and being encouraged at this time and so with the judgment card you do have somebody that's wanting to reach out with somebody may be a bit hesitant about reaching out where you may have some communication get ready to come in where you may receive a message a telephone call a text or an email from somebody concerning the situation between you and them okay so um again this has been an air sign reading for gemini libra and aquarius although gemini came out um this has pretty much been your reading for mid october so if it resonates hit the like button and subscribe and again as always thank you for your love and support god bless i'm out